wild and romantic flowers. I'm going to show you with this beautiful old milk jug how to make something very romantic and picture in the garden as if you just pick them and shove them in a vase in a lovely artful way. But it's not that easy. So follow my tips and you can make something really lovely. So I've got this lovely old milk jug and I'm here today at the Real Flower Company in deepest, darkest rural Hampshire. And I've got free run of all their lovely foliages and flowers. So let's go. Catmint. Let's establish the shape of the decoration just by adding them willy-nilly, nice clean stems, fresh wound for drinking the water, and we're establishing just that, keep it in proportion, got to keep it in proportion, adding a few lovely stems here and there, just that's the sort of size we'll make it. So catmint, beautiful, grows rampantly in the garden, give it a good old prune, and comes back. So let's get those in, and then these wonderful echinops, it's a wonderful architectural plant and you've got these lovely sort of blue thistly bits on the end. So again, giving them a snip, not near your hand, you soon learn not to do that as a florist. So you want to keep some of the leaves on because they're so pretty and architectural. So we've got some long ones, we've got some shorter ones and um, keep adding them like that around the edge just to give it a bit of support and keeping the napita up, napita the catmint. Anyway, so adding a few of those in a kind of very romantic, lovely, it's very soporific doing flowers like this. Um, so, again, getting them in, in a lovely shape, we're now going to add some of these Veronica and, and the magic snip. What you can do to cheat, get two at that level, two at that level, and then give them one snip. It's quick and easy. So you've got some shorter ones that can go in instantly. It's just a kind of a labour saving way of doing it. So you've got some short ones, then you've got some lovely tall ones. And um, there we are. It's kind of got that lovely romantic country kitchen look. And this is the sort of thing I do for parties, willy nilly down a table, just like you pick them from the garden. And I know I keep saying that, but you've just got to follow a few theories. So you keep them low, keep them high, get some focal points in which we'll do with the lovely sweet peas later. Everyone's favourite, a sweet pea. So here we've got Fever Few, which is very pretty. And this is just giving a few little highlights. So pop some of those around the edge. And as I said, there are no rules with this sort of thing. Well, there are, but don't be, don't be thinking, oh gosh, I've got to do this and I've got to do that. Just stand back and have a little shuffle. That's a bit long there. Let's take him out and pop him in the middle to get a bit of, oop, bit of height. There we are. And let's get some of these lovely, these are a salvia. Look at that lovely colour. This will just give it a little bit of oomph. Again, I'm going to do my, oops, seem to be alive. Two different levels like that and cut. Let's keep that stem nice and clean. I always talk about clean stems. Keeps the water nice and fresh. Let's have one over there. This has got that lovely sort of Ophelia. I was thinking of Ophelia from Hamlet, who loved her wildflowers and went mad, mad and drowned. Um, so you've got that lovely romantic look to it. We love a little bit of uh, Shakespeare at Fabulous Flowers TV. Um, what else are we going to put in? Let's put some marjoram. Oh, gosh, it's smelling so fresh. I wish you could smell all these lovely smells. I'm doing that all one length because this, this I want to bury down inside it, down here. And the wonderful thing about herbs, you get that lovely mixture, that fresh green smell. So I'm just adding them in fairly bulkily, making sure all the stems are in water. And let me just give you a little turn so you can see what's going on here. Um, and these sort of flowers will drink quite heavily. So after a day or two, top them up. So let's get some of our star performing sweet peas in. These are just amazing. Nice fresh wound. I'm going to, so we've got a, quite a, a theme here of colors. We've got some nice blues and purples. Pop some of those in there. I'm going to go a bit stylistic now. I'm just going to keep it blue, white and purple, I think. So we've got some lovely lilac here. Lilacs and whites and they just look, someone's painted them by hand. Again, snipping. Um, do that, and maybe some here. 
think about how they grow. They grow in drifts. So let's have a look. Oh, it's looking gorgeous. It's so romantic. It looks like you're on a sort of Cornish holiday or something. I think we're nearly there. Let's pop some of these white ones in here. Again, Veronica, really pretty, a good stalwart of the herbaceous garden. If stems are a bit, a bit woody, do give them a snip. But I think we're more or less there. It's kind of got that lovely romantic look. Gorgeous. If you'd like to see more of our flowery films, then do subscribe to our wonderful YouTube channel by clicking here.